So I'm up in the bow of the boat and I'm going to show you where I'm drilling hopefully the last hole of this off season. Uh, and I'm going to be installing an inspection port. And so on the other side of this right here is um, the bow eye that uh, you know that you hook your strap to and then winch the boat onto the trailer. And so I have a few, uh, some little crazing that's going on around the bow eye. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to open this up and see what the other side looks like. Um, you know, see what the backing plate, what kind of condition it's in, uh, what kind of material it is, whether or not I can see light, you know, coming through around the bow eye, um, and see whether or not it's sealed on the inside. And so that's going to help me determine whether or not I replace the bow eye, which obviously I would have to have access to the back side of it, um, or just do some cosmetic, you know, sealing up or you know, maybe a little sanding and some marine text or something like that. But, you know, I, I really can't make a decision until I see the other side. And so that's the purpose of installing this inspection port. All right, so now I'm just gonna use my flashlight, look inside and make sure that there's enough clearance in here finish cutting this hole. And it looks like it. Yeah. That's a pretty good cut. I'm happy with that. So after drilling the hole, the moment of truth is always to see if the ring will fit. And perfect. Okay, so before you start drilling the mounting holes, uh, one thing, thing to think about is the orientation. And the best way to do that is to go ahead and tighten the, uh, the top in there and then figure out, you know, do you want it facing straight up or do you want it horizontal? So I'm going to go with a vertical, and so once it's in there nice and tight, let me make sure here, all right, there we go. So it won't always line up perfectly with the screws, um, and so you want to go ahead and put it in there nice and tight, and then orient it, and then drill the screws based on your vertical or horizontal orientation. And as I, as I do this, I'm going to start putting the screws in uh, just to hold it in place, and that way I don't need a template. That one's kind of low.
All right, there you have it. And so what I'm using to do the mounting is uh, I went with the largest diameter um, screws that I could get through the hole. So these are 832nd. And uh, so they're stainless steel, of course. And then I've got uh, the locking nuts and then a washer that's going to go on the inside. So that's the way I'm going to mount it. And then, of course, I'm going to put 5200 around um, the opening. And, you know, an inspection port is something that should never come out of the boat uh, unless it cracks. But even then, um, because it has an O-ring, um, you could probably just put a little more sealant on it and be good without having to rebed it. But, you know, 5200 with a blade, you can get it off. So you can get a blade underneath the seal um, and be able to get it off. But, you know, again, it's basically permanent. I don't expect that this inspection port will ever come out of the boat. So as always, you want to prep the surface with acetone to get rid of any contaminants. That will prevent good adherence. This is exactly what I was hoping to get out of this project, which was a good view of the back side of the bow eye. So uh, you can see that the, the inside of the bow is actually reinforced with about two inches of extra material um, that's all glassed in. Um, so I'm not sure if that's straight fiberglass or if there's a piece of wood in there uh, or maybe some PVC or something else. And then a small metal backing plate and then the, uh, the bow eye. So the good news is uh, there's no sign of water intrusion and I can't see any light. Um, so maybe uh, for the short, short to midterm, I can just do a little work on the outside of the bow eye and uh, leave this thing in there without having to pull it out and rebed it. But uh, yeah, so I got what I wanted out of this project, which is a good view and an idea of what was going on uh, on the inside. Alright, so this is the inspection port for the bow eye. Uh, everything is cured and uh, it's ready to go.